From Hollywood, it's the Dennis Day Show. Yes, it's Dennis Day with Robert Armbruster in the orchestra and Dennis' special guest, Patty Andrews and Mel Blank. And here he is, the star of our show, Dennis Day. It's a grand night for singing. The moon is flying high And somewhere a bird who is bound he'll be heard Is throwing his heart at the sky It's a grand night for singing The stars are bright above The earth is aglow and to add to the show I think I am falling in love Falling, falling in love it's more than the moon Maybe it's more than the earth Maybe it's more than the sight of the night In a light too lovely for words Maybe it's more than the moon Shining in silvery blue Maybe the reason I'm feeling this way Has something to do with you it's a grand night for singing the stars are bright above the earth is a glow and to add to the show i think i am falling in love falling falling in love <laughs> <laughs> Why, it's Woody Woodpecker! No, I'm Mel Blank. <laughs> well, Mel, your voice is known to millions of radio, television, and motion picture fans. In addition to being Woody Woodpecker, aren't you also Professor LeBlanc, Jack Benny's violin teacher? Oui, monsieur. I've been teaching Monsieur Benny how to play the violin for nearly 20 years. <laughs> Well, tell, uh, tell me, Monsieur LeBlanc, after listening to Mr. Benny's violin for 20 years, what message do you have for music lovers? I wish I was deaf. <laughs> if America could do to the Russians what Monsieur Benny does to the violin, poof, there goes the iron curtain. <laughs> well, Professor LeBlanc, perhaps it's because Mr. Benny's violin is of an inferior grade. Oh, no, 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 no. Monsieur Benny's violin is precious and rare. I saw the name inside of it. Oh, what did it say? Stradivarius? No, the Pep Boys, Manny Moore and Jack. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful, Mel. But I wonder if the folks know that you also play that strong, silent Mexican fellow on the Benny Show. Isn't that right, senor? Si. <laughs> I saw your girlfriend, senorita Estralita, and she's very cute. Beep. But you're always fighting with her. What's the trouble? Pop. <laughs> Why, uh, what does he do when you're making love to her? Beep. Well, what has Estralita's father got that bothers you? Beep. Look, why don't you fight back? What's the matter with you? Pooped. <laughs> Mel, you do such a variety of voices. I wonder how it would sound if your characters met up with my characters. Hey, why don't we try it? Let's now introduce Bugs Bunny to his German girlfriend, Hassenpfeffer Bunny. Meep. What's up, Doc? Meep. Wir stutzen einen Hund mit uns. Wir stellen sich einen nach oben hin. Meep. What's up, Doc? Hey, you're a pretty bunny. Hey, you're a honey bunny. Yeah, down, Doc, there, Dorton. Oh, you're cute and, uh... Hey, you smell good, too. Uh, hey, what are you wearing, honey? Uh, Twenty carrots. I like you, Bugs. <laughs> hey, and I could go for you, sweetie. Say, yeah, yeah. how would you like me to give you a fur coat? Oh, that's good. Uh, where did you get the fur coat? My uncle was run over this morning. <laughs> 
Hey, wait a minute, Doc. The more I look at you, the more I'm sure you're not a genuine rabbit. Oh, how's that? Well, your ears are short, and your eyes aren't pink, and your teeth aren't sharp, and your cotton tail is silk. Von der Seigrun von Gesellschaft all geschwindrein rup. Wie steht sie gar nicht noch hoppen? Hey, uh, what does that mean? I was made in Japan. <laughs> oh, Dennis, could you imagine what would happen if Woody Woodpecker met up with Jimmy Durante? No, Mel, I have no idea. So let's uh, show the folks and find out, huh? All right. <laughs> Hiya, Woody. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Say, let's rub noses, huh? All right, pal. Jimmy, Jimmy, I give up. You win. Naturally, Woody. You just got a peck, but I got a bushel. <laughs> Among Mel's other accomplishments are some fine kitty records made for Capitol. One of the best sellers of all time is his recording of Warner Brothers cartoons, I Taught I Taught Putty Tat. Mel, I'm sure the folks would love to hear you sing it now. How about it, huh? Well, fine. Here it is for all the kids and putty tats listening in. I am a little tiny bird, my name is Tweety Pie. I live inside my bird cage, uh, hanging way up high. I like to swing upon my perch and sing my little song. But there's a cat who's after me and won't let me alone. I thought I saw a putty tat a tweeping upon me. I did, I saw a putty tat as plain as he could be. <laughs> I am that great big battle cat, Sylvester is my name. I only have one aim in life, and that is very plain. I want to catch that little bird and eat him right away. But just as I get close to him, this is what he'll say. I tore, I tore, pretty cat, a creeping upon me. You bet he saw a pretty cat, a pretty cat of me. <laughs> I thought I saw a putty that is sweeping up on me. I did, I saw a putty that is plain as he told me. Don't put your hands back in your pockets yet, ladies and gentlemen, because here comes Patty Andrews. Darling, when you sang that song, your voice was as clear as the lakes of Killarney, as beautiful as sunrise in Dublin, and as shimmering as the moonlight on Galway Bay. 
So tell me, how are things in Glockamora? Well, if you really want to know, Patty, I've got a shortwave radio right here. Let's tune in Balakaderi and County Mayo and find out right now. Good. <laughs> the top of the morning to y'all. This is Mac NBC, the McNamara Broadcasting Company, bringing you such outstanding programs as One Man Shillelagh, Life Can Be Jabers, Just Plain Pat O'Brien, The Green Button Show, The Green Skelton Show, Green for a Day, and the most popular soap opera in Ireland. How white was my valley? <laughs> How white was my valley? What are you saying, you spalpeen? This is Ireland. Oh, oh, I thought you said Iceland. <laughs> we start our broadcasting day with that great crime program, O Dragnet. O Dragnet is brought to you by McNamara's Nightsticks. The nightstick with more bounce to the out. <laughs> and now, old Dragnet. <laughs> my name is Sergeant O'Friday. My partner is O Smith. We're O Cops. This is the O City. Oh, Sergeant O'Friday, oh, what shall I do? Me husband was just shot with a revolver, stabbed with a dagger, and poisoned with arsenic. Oh, what shall I do? Bury him. <laughs> McNamara Broadcasting Company takes pleasure in presenting Old Dr. Malone. Brought to you by McNamara's Toothpaste. Now here is a testimonial from McNamara's Toothpaste by a satisfied user. My name is Patrick Liberace. I've been using McNamara's Toothpaste exclusively for ten years and I can honestly say that thanks to McNamara's Toothpaste, my piano has the whitest ivories in County Cork. <laughs> episode in the life of lovable Lord Dr. Malone. Hello, old Dr. Malone. Hello, Nurse Patricia. And how do you feel today, old Dr. Malone? Old. <laughs> Those poor old hands of yours look so tired. Oh, they are tired. I can hardly lift them anymore. This morning, I had to perform a tonsillectomy with me feet. Oh, I noticed when you took your shoes off, you were wearing rubber gloves instead of socks. <laughs> Calling old Doc Malone. Go to surgery and remove patient's appendix, liver, stomach, kidneys, lungs, and ribs. That is all. <laughs> Dr. Malone, an operation like that will be very exhausting for you. Yes, but we'll take a lot more out of the patient. <laughs> well, I must be going to surgery. Miss Patricia, please help me to stand up. Yes, doctor. Oh, uh, <clears throat> there you are, old Dr. Malone. You're standing up now. Yes, he does it. Now face me toward surgery and push me a little. <laughs> take it slowly, old Dr. Malone. Remember... Mm. You're not as young as you were when you were young, Dr. Malone, old Dr. Malone. <laughs> Calling old Doc... Dr. Malone. <laughs> Never mind going to surgery. The patient couldn't wait. That is all. <laughs> and now it's time to play you bet your shillelagh. Uh, and it stars your favorite quiz master, Grouch O. Marks. <laughs> you bet your shillelagh is sponsored by the McNamara Hat Company. Now remember, every McNamara hat comes equipped with McNamara's band. And now here he is, Grouch O. Marks. That's me, folks. Before we start the program, I want to tell the home audience the secret word for tonight. The secret word is, Oy vey. <laughs> Be chambers, aren't we, devils? Oh. Mr. O'Marks, our first contestant is Mr. Melvin Blank. He's a cab driver from Brooklyn. Oh, good evening, Mr. Blank. From Brooklyn, are you now? Well, tell me, what made you leave Brooklyn to visit the old sod? Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, this may sound funny, but, but I, I wanted to see Ireland before I die. Well, that's a good time to see it. It's nothing afterwards. <laughs> 
So you drive a cab, Mr. Blank. I, I understand American cab drivers do pretty well. Oh, I knock down about 80 a week. Mm. <laughs> Boy, that's a handsome salary. Salary nothing. I'm talking about pedestrians. <laughs> Are you married, Mr. Blank? Oh, yeah. Me and Moidle have been married for 18 years. Yeah, she's my wife. Well, congratulations. <laughs> 18 years is a long time. Are you still romantic now? Yeah. And if Moidle ever finds out, she'll break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will, too. Well, all right, Mr. Blank. Here's your first question. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Well, if it ain't Leo de Rocha, they got the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I'll give you one more chance. What is the richest country in the world? Gee, I don't know. The answer is Ireland, because its capital is always Dublin. Ha, <laughs> ha! Oh, Grouch, you're still the great Irish wit. Uh, here comes the next contestant, Mr. Omar. Uh, while she's on the way to the mic, I want to remind the audience at home that the secret word is still... Oy vey. Good evening, Mr. O'Marx. My name is Rafferty Lafferty Hulahan Dulahan Guppy O'Duppy O'Kelly O'Toole Smith. <laughs> You're a pretty, Colleen. Tell me, are you married? No, I'm afraid I'm going to wind up an old maid. Sounds like fun. Why don't we go out and wind one up together? <laughs> Oh, Max, your Irish witch is second only to that of Pinky Lee. <laughs> now, here is your first question, Miss Rafferty Lafferty, Hulahan, Dolahan, uh, Guffy O'Duffy O'Kelly O'Toole. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? The great Irish tenor John McCormack. Right! Ah, <laughs> oh, you're a daughter after me own heart. You have won ten silver shillelaghs, and now for the jackpot question. What is the colour of orange juice? Green. Absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, you're a smart one there, me pretty Colleen. You have won $10,000 or two tickets to a Barry Fitzgerald movie. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the number one song in the McNamara hit parade, Patty McNamara and Dennis McNamara singing, It's the Irish in me. <laughs> can charm every heart that you can. with a wink or a glance they're bewitched from the start oh, you're a devil. and it isn't for nothing they say what did they say the boys call me kathleen mavorny no shame oh, when i please i can tease like an imp or an elf and me eyes are as blue as Killarney itself was me poor father's gift, don't you see? When they planted the Irish in me. Oh, Kathleen Mavourne in O'Shea, what a name. Oh, Dennis. When I walk, when I talk, it's the Irish in me. Makes me walk, makes me talk with a difference, you see. And it's surely old Aaron to blame For Michael O'Malley, McNulty, O'Leary, Fitzpatrick, O'Reilly's me name When I smile, I beguile, I don't mean to do I can take, even break, any poor heart in two And I don't know what else it could be or it must be the Irish. But Gordy Dennis, you're a boy after me own heart. It must be the Irish. Ah, uh, you're a girl after me heart. It, it must be, be the Irish, Irish in me. And now, before the McNamara Broadcasting Company signs off, we would like you to meet the man who has been responsible for bringing all these wonderful programs right into your very home, Mr. McNamara himself. Mr. McNamara, you've heard the programs, listen to the music. Tell us, what do you think? Oy vey! <laughs> Mr. McNamara, you've just said the secret word in your phrases. 
A ride through Brooklyn in my taxi cab. Ah, <laughs> uh, Brooklyn, I've always wanted to see Brooklyn before I died. Well, if you ride in my cab, that's just about when you'll see it. <laughs> And so we come to the close of another day of broadcasting before the McNamara Broadcasting Company signs off our national anthem. Oh, my name is McNamara, I'm the leader of the band. Although we're few in numbers, we're the finest in the land. We play at wakes and weddings and at every fancy ball. And when we play at funerals, oh, we play the march from Paul. Oh, the drums go bang and the cymbals clang and the horns they blaze away. The clarity pumps the old bassoon while I the pipes do play. Tennessee, Tennessee, toodles the flute and the music's something grand. A credit to a liar in this McNamara's van. <laughs> Right now we are rehearsing for a very swell affair. The annual celebration, all the gentry will be there. Oh, and Lee Meidinger to Ireland came, he took me by the hand. Cause hey, I never saw the lights on Matt and Mara's van. Oh, the drums go bang and the cymbals clang and the horns they blaze away. The cash he pumps the old bassoon while I the pipes to play. Tennessee, Tennessee, toodles the food and the music, something grand. A credit to a liar in the back to Mara's van. Oh, me name is Uncle Yule, you sent from Sweden, and I have come to play but mock the Morris band then beat the big bass drum. And when they march along the street, the ladies thank them grand. They shout, there's Uncle Yule, you sling with an Irish band. Oh, the drums go bang and the cymbals clang and the horns they blaze away. The cars he pumps the old bassoon while I the pipes to play. Tennessee, Tennessee, toodles the food and the music, something grand. A credit to a liar and his McNamara's band. Sure, it's the grandest, most wonderful aggregation in your life, and if anyone here doesn't agree with me, just to be sociable, I'll fight the best man in the house. <laughs> I'm not long for this world. <laughs> oh, a credit to a liar and his McNamara's band. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for tonight. Don't forget to tune in next week when our guest will be Anna Maria Alberghetti and the one and only Phil Harris. Join us then, won't you? This is Patty Dublinite Andrews. And Mel Brooklynite Blank. <laughs> and Dennis Day saying, <laughs> Every song that I sing, I'll sing to you. And I hope I can bring you a smile or two. So long, everyone, and God bless you. Dennis Day Show is written by Irving Taylor and Alan Wood, produced and directed by Fred Levin. This is Jimmy Wallington speaking, inviting you to join us next week for the Dennis Day Show. Good night. country is known by its people. What people think of your country depends on you. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.